Hello, I'm Barry Shore, Professor Emeritus at the University of New Hampshire and Head of Program Development here at SSGI. Six Sigma is a methodology for improving process quality and efficiency. It does this by first identifying and eliminating delays, errors, and waste. And secondly, it does this by reducing process output variability. It was developed by Motorola in the 1980s and popularized by General Electric. The term Six Sigma is very explicit and refers to a process capable of producing no more than 3.4 defects per million opportunities. This means the process is expected to deliver near perfect outcomes. While this is quite ambitious, it may not be an appropriate target for all processes. Sometimes a Five Sigma goal may be all that is needed. Nonetheless, the term Six Sigma serves as a metaphor for delivering high quality results. Six Sigma is guided by a well-defined methodology. It consists of five phases. Define, which is identifying the problem. Measure, which is collecting data. Analyzing, which is making sense of what is going on and determining what needs to be done. Improve, which involves developing and implementing solutions. Control, which is monitoring improvements to ensure sustainability and prevent reversion to old ways. In Six Sigma, we formally identify a hierarchy of roles and professional certificates that guide the way individuals engage in Six Sigma projects. Master Black Belts are experts who provide training and mentoring to Black Belts and Green Belts. Black Belts are full-time professionals who lead complex improvement projects. Green Belts are part-time project leaders who assist with data collection and analysis. Yellow Belts are team members who support projects and have basic Six Sigma training. Here is a sampling of the tools that are included in the Six Sigma Toolkit. Value stream maps to provide visual displays of process steps. Bar charts, Pareto diagrams, and Ishikawa diagrams to identify the root cause of problems or opportunities. Control charts to track process stability over time. Hypothesis testing to determine whether changes that have been made have significantly improved outcome. Failure mode and effects analysis to identify potential failure points and their impact. Design of experiments to determine cause and effect relationships between controllable process inputs called factors and their effects on outputs. What are the benefits? Improved quality, cost reduction, customer satisfaction, increased revenue, and competitive advantage. Here are a few examples of how this methodology can be applied across various businesses, functional areas, and industries. In logistics, speeding delivery of products from customer order to delivery. Manufacturing, eliminating process bottlenecks and delays. Assembly, improve coordination across stages in the assembly process. Healthcare, rapid response to patients presenting with drug overdose. Customer service, eliminating delays and waste when working with customers who have called a helpline. New product development, speeding development from product vision to product introduction. Quality management, eliminating defects and errors with higher throughput yield. Supply chain management, shortening the cycle from order placement to order delivery. Operational excellence, meeting competitive challenges. Six Sigma is a comprehensive methodology that combines statistical analysis with a structured approach to problem solving. It aims to improve process performance and quality. For more information, including how you can become professionally certified by a Google 4.9 star provider and significantly improve your professional credentials, visit us at SixSigmaGlobalInstitute.com. 
Our consistently high reviews speak to the fact that our courses are written in a style that is informal, easy to understand, logically developed, and applied. We hope to see you soon.